Good afternoon. What's going on, guys? A little different setting today. Usually I'm up and about walking around, moving, so I'll probably be chucking and jiving and moving around here, but I'm sitting down and relaxing here in my backyard, um, working out of the house today, getting some things done. Uh, we're pushing real hard to, to try and launch in the next 24 hours, uh, actually a relaunch of our product, so we're very excited about that. Things have been... Uh, moving pretty fast lately you know um, you guys have been seeing all the progress that we've been making and things have been um, going pretty good uh, we've had a couple minor setbacks uh, but you know and then you know the, the, the effects of the chemo and everything kind of taken a toll but uh, last night was uh, was kind of crazy um, I'm just uh, wanted to let you guys know we had a little episode last night that scared us pretty bad um, I was having dinner at my in-laws house last night with the family and Aubrey had just got home from dance and I had just picked her up and uh, went into the bathroom to handle some business and started feeling really really um, really weak and weird and felt like I was getting poisoned it was, it was a crazy feeling something that I've never really felt before it was taking over my entire body and then uh, I was gonna yell for Amy because I didn't know what was going to happen and I felt like I was going to pass out or something bad was happening. And sure enough, I, I went out and I, I, I cracked my head pretty good against the, the back of the, the where the, the cabinet is above the, above the toilet. And I guess I was out for a good 20 seconds or so. Uh, Amy and Mel and Dorothy and the family, they, they heard the loud noise in the bathroom and, and fortunately was able to get in and start splashing water on my face and bring me back uh, back to consciousness and uh, I just didn't know where I was I was very disoriented uh, very scared uh, didn't know what was happening at that point when I was coming back around and it was very scary and I just I remember looking up and seeing Mel and Amy sitting there standing in front of me throwing water all over me and, and trying to, to talk to me and I hear Aubrey in the background crying and it was just uh, it was kind of surreal because it was kind of out of body and I didn't know what to do or how to articulate my thoughts and um, you know it got to a point throughout the night um, where I, I sat down after after passing out and sat down in the chair the paramedics were on their way and um, and I was just sitting there and they were asking the family was asking me questions I just and I and I couldn't I couldn't get my thoughts together you know and I'm feeling pretty good today I, I, I feel a little cloudy I think it's just from the the trauma of the hitting my head so hard but um, yesterday was just last night was a whirlwind and then we ended up uh, taking an ambulance ride over to St. Jude uh, last night around 10 o'clock or so is when we got there and and uh, we got home around three I think it was uh, my mom and Amy hung with me at the hospital and we got a bunch of testing done Dorothy took Aubrey home and got her in bed, but uh, we ran tests, we did blood work, we did uh, a CAT scan, x-rays, all kinds of fun stuff, and came to the conclusion that it's nothing serious. Um, I mean, anytime you pass out, I guess it's serious, especially when you're going through what I'm going through, but uh, the good news is the doctors that were there on staff are confident that it's nothing like a stroke or anything real bad. They, they, they attributed it to... Um, I forget the name of what it's called, but it's it's some something that happens when you're trying a little too hard to to go to the bathroom. Now, I I wasn't trying that hard. Uh, sorry to be graphic, but you know I do a good job of managing uh, the softness of that movement, if you will, and uh, and it wasn't that bad to get through. Uh, so I don't think it was that. I just think that it was a culmination of just. Uh, exerting myself a little too much I tend to go hard and and there's a lot going on in life and uh, you know it, it can take a toll so um, I have been prescribed rest and here I am resting I'm in my backyard right now it's a beautiful day on Thursday I have my family I have my health as good as it is and we're plugging along um, uh, everybody came together good. Aubrey held strong, and uh, we've been having a good day. She took the day off of school as well to uh, to be with me. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to share this story with you because it was a scary night. Uh, we went through it as a family, and uh, we got through it. Uh, but it was it was pretty difficult. 
and uh, and scary, but we're we're here on the other side and feeling good. Uh, looking forward to a, a great weekend and a successful relaunch of Make Eating Fun. Uh, so be on the lookout of all that. I'm sure uh, you'll be hearing from me again on some type of video. I hopefully will be walking again uh, here on my route in the next day or two. But uh, for the time being, I'm just going to relax and uh, do some computer work and stuff like that that I could just chill here on my patio and, uh, and be productive but not be exerting myself. So anyway, um, just wanted to share that message with you. Um, you know, pay attention to your bodies. I, I don't think that I really was, um, and I was trying to push too hard, and I think that I need to learn how to say no. And I think that's just gonna be the simple lesson of today, is learning to say no when your body's ready to, to get some rest. Um, so that's what I shall do. And uh, I, I, I feel good. Uh, there's no need to be alarmed at this point. Um, but uh, yeah, just wanted to share that experience with you guys. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Uh, let's finish out the week strong. Have a great weekend. Love your family and uh, have a great day. Talk to you soon.